Hello guys and welcome to episode 2 of my Orsha campaign in Still Division 2, playing on the Axis side. Today we are starting off with another defensive battle against the Soviets. We have been attacked at our elite troops here right in the centre. Our Panzergrenz or Schutzen are ready to go. We got some Sturmschutzen in these guys as well. Really, really solid troops. Just got to decide what other regiments I'm going to use to back it up. I could definitely rely on the Marders, the Marder 2s here. We could use those to break down some of the tanks if they decide to bring in the T-34s here or potentially the ISU-122s. The other choices for them would be the infantry regiments. So I want to kind of bring in a bit of a mix. I might bring in the 195th Assault Regiment here, which has a bunch of pack 40s and then we'll also bring in the Tank Destroyer Battalion, because I can set up these from the start, the pack 40s So that should help us out a lot. So let's bring that in, and we'll bring in the Tank Destroyer Battalion in Phase B. Okay, let's Tactical Battle. Set it all to player, controlled, let's see what they decide to bring in. Oh, they didn't actually bring in any reinforcements, okay. Uh, they're just attacking with the Singular Regiment. So we should have quite an easy time here. We are playing on hard difficulty, of course, so their amount of troops they have is increased by about 50%. But, just going to put down all of these fortifications, and I'll be back with you in a sec. So I have all of my fortifications down. Let me just go through them quickly. We've got Schutzen in trenches on the left-hand side, and pretty much across the board, uh, they've all got their own singular trench uh, that they can hide in. I've set it up like this where they're all out in the open because we're only up against one enemy division and it's going to be entirely infantry. So I don't need to worry about units attacking us from a distance so much and therefore my machine guns will almost always be in range versus their infantry if they want to attack us. Got a pack 40 here and a gun pit, that's pretty cool. Uh, we've got MG42s spread out throughout the trees as well as the bunkers amongst them. I've got all of the AT bunkers down. The AT bunkers are going to be great for sniping transports and then the MG is good for just pinning down the infantry. I'm going to have to fill out this area with infantry and this area with infantry after the game starts. Alright, let's go ahead and launch the battle. We'll just speed things up. See all of their transports coming down the road. You've got my 37mm already firing at that one, for example. Pack 40 is already firing away. I'm going to turn off the APCR. There's no point in having that on. We want to be one-shotting any transports we can see. There we go. Lovely. So yeah, I'm just going to keep it sped up as they start to charge towards us. I'm going to try and bring in some infantry. Maybe we could push up onto this flag on the hill. Because we want to try and make it a major defeat. Uh, if we can, we could push for a total defeat. It depends on how quickly we kill all the stuff that comes our way. Right, let me just uh, bring in the reinforcements that I need. Uh, we'll bring in some more Sturmschutz in here. Put them in the buildings. I'll have a couple go there as well. Alright, we'll just uh, shift unload. I don't think this is going to be a very long battle. I'm probably just going to keep it on maximum speed. Because any infantry that comes our way is just going to get killed very quickly. And I think that because they only have one battalion attacking us, uh, they only have three points per minute. Actually, it'll be six because they are on hard difficulty. They do have 50% more units because it's hard difficulty. But I don't expect that to make too much of a difference here. As you can see, it's uh, pretty lacklustre.
Maybe get a couple of these IGs in. These would be pretty good actually for smashing infantry at range. I would say the only bad thing is we might end up running out of ammunition. But then we can just bring in supply trucks if we need to. But you can see, even before they're engaging our frontline infantry, the MG42s are doing enough damage. MG42s, when I was playing against the AI on the Soviet side, the MG42s were probably one of the most annoying units I had to come up against. But now we get to use them against the Soviets and return the favor. It's quite nice. Punch more units coming in. I could also use the AA actually. Like aggressively. It's probably not a bad idea. Have a couple up there. Have one down here. This area is relatively weak. Yeah, I might put one in there. That's fine. Cool. Yeah, I set up all my ships in Fjellar so I could get quite a lot of extra veterancy onto my troops, which is nice. I might actually put this just up here so that I get the veterancy. Yeah, so we do have access now to our Marders, but honestly, we don't really need them. I'm going to bring them in anyway, just because. We got so many points. You can also bring in the pack 43s to engage stuff at range as well. <laughs> All this infantry just getting annihilated. These fortifications, they do look awesome. It's one of the best additions, in my opinion, to Steel Division 2 uh, from Steel Division Normandy 44. There's like trenches and fortifications in general. Just look really, really awesome. My pack 40 here has already run out of HE shells. I might have to do the same for the Marders, actually. Alright, let's keep it sped up. I should also put some recon down, but we only have motorcycles and the KFZ-4s. Mm, I guess they're not too bad as long as I just keep them out of range. Put some bikes down and stuff. Have them a little bit further back. They should have some mortars, actually. I'm surprised we haven't seen those being used yet. Because those could actually do some damage to us, for sure. Looks like they're just focusing on all of the elite stem of Niki first.
I should probably put that in the middle of these two so that I can resupply the IG as well because the IG is going to be using up a lot of ammunition. I might even push it next to the pack 40 because that pack 40 has been using a lot of ammunition so it's probably in a good spot. If I can fire to the right hand side here with the IG we'll kill things a lot quicker. The key here is just doing as much damage as we can. It's just so many units coming in but we just aren't seeing them. Maybe we're just killing them very quickly, I don't know. Or they're just not pushing forwards because they're being forced back. On this right side, we have like the trenches on the edge of the hill. So if they were to charge up, they would take a lot of damage. Just hear those MG42s going to work. Oh, a bunch of stuff just broke out there. Big old push coming in. Lots of kills, that's for sure. The IGs are just destroying them. This IG-33 here. If I can get some supply onto these martyrs, they'll fire away as well. They finally made an attack. Probably be a bit more aggressive now, actually, because it is becoming coming towards the end. Usually what happens. Some supply in there. We're bringing the supply back over there as well. Oh, we do want to take that back, for sure. Otherwise it'll only be a minor defeat, we want it to be a major defeat, 100%. I need to get that like, in between the AA. There we go. And the pack 40 so that I can resupply both of them at the same time. Damn. <laughs> they made a grave miscalculation. <laughs> That's for sure. I don't even know if I've lost a single unit yet. This double line of barbed wire here. Just my MG on the edge of the town there. There, that's victory. Ten seconds remain. Beat it up. Job well done. Major victory, 29 minutes, 10 seconds, 85 kills, zero losses. Lovely. So those IGs did a lot of damage. That flag 38 actually got quite a few kills. Those IG is perfect for that situation. Surprised I didn't use the tanks. Guess we'll see them another time. Although maybe they'll attack us with tanks now. Actually, no, they can't because they're in phase B. They wouldn't be able to initiate. And they just bombarded a couple of our units on the top side. Are we going to see any more attacks? We are. Alright. 
So they are now attacking the 119th Panzergren Regiment. We have a bunch of Panzergrens here. Uh, we've also got them backed up by these K35-105 mils and Pack 43s. Is there many tanks here? There is not. No, there's not a single tank. Oh, they might be able to bring in the Phase C in Independent Tank Regiment. Hmm. In that case, do we use the 119th as well? These are 220 mil Schneiders. That's pretty cool. It depends on the map, I think. And... It depends if we have enough AT guns. So we would have the bunkers, we'd have the pack 40s, and we'd have pack 43s. All of the other infantry is easy to deal with. Uh, the mortars would be the annoying part. So I think what I'm going to do is we'll bring in this and this. And we will tactical battle. And off we go. Another fortified defense. So, just give me a sec, guys. I'll get the defenses down. Be back with you in a sec. Alright, so my defenses are set up. I've done it very similar to I did in the last battle, where we've got our infantry more or less out in the open in the trenches. They're covered by bunkers, and we've got command at pretty much every station to back them all up. And that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and launch the battle. I do need to fill up the left side a little bit. I've left a few extra trenches here to fill out. But they don't tend to attack too hard on the left hand side. On this map I don't think. So yeah I think we're set up quite well. I've got plenty to bring in. Loads of MG42s I can bring in. I've got all of the artillery of course that I can bring in as well. Already first blood. As the... Pack 37s open up. So I put the bunkers close to the Grenfjörder. So that they get the extra veterancy as well, which is pretty important. I should speed things up. Oh, mortar fire already. Okay. Uh, I guess we're going to have to counter battery. That's going to be our priority. We'll bring in these 105s or maybe we could bring in the bigger artillery later on. Yeah, we'll have to bring in the 105s for now. We don't want them to be in range of their mortars, so we'll just have them a bit further back. I think they're only going to have 82mm mortars. We should be alright. The trouble is with these bunkers is they are pretty vulnerable to mortar fire. If they continuously come under fire then they will all go down eventually. So we're going to have to be on point with our counter battery. And we'll speed things up. Got to keep an eye out for where they're firing from now. be a counter battery game they're gonna have i think about 14 mortars that they can bring in so this could uh, get pretty annoying over time
We're just going to keep bringing in our artillery. The reason I'm having them a little bit further forwards than at the back of the map is so that we can get more accurate shots, better dispersion on those artillery. I might have to stay more zoomed out in this one, but look at these big old guns. Very cool indeed. Is that still not pinned? Wow. I've got a few pack 40s in like gun pits and stuff, so that should save them a little bit from mortifier. We're not doing much damage to these 82 mils. Mortaring my pack 40, that one. We'll just keep that artillery coming in. Do we have any more? No, we don't. Not until phase B. Not long remaining. Oh, I need to bring in the, uh, the infantry on the left-hand side. So forget about that. And I should also bring in all of my MGs. No reason not to. They can demolish the enemy very quickly. Okay. One thing I do need to do at some point is make it so the menu doesn't close, it always stays open. I normally have that setting on, but obviously it's being turned off when I reset my settings. Right, let's just make sure we've got supply for each of these. We can keep them firing. But shutting down those mortars is very important. Since we probably want to kill them, rather than just pin them, it would be best for us to just focus all of the artillery on the same area every time we see one fire. Because that way we're a lot more likely to get the killing blow. There's a good tip for using artillery is if you want to suppress enemy artillery and just stop them from attacking you while you're attacking them, then... Just making sure it, like you have one of your artillery pieces attacking all of their artillery pieces, like each one has its own target. Um, that way, you just pin them all down. But if you actually want to kill them, then you want to fire pretty much all of your artillery at one target. So it's it's much more lethal. I think the idea I had was to bring in a couple MGs here as well. That's why I had the aft clutter there. Might be a good idea to have our Clado in the middle, actually. And maybe some speed troop around the place. How that 
82 millimeter mortar is still there. I do not know. Unless they're replacing it. Maybe they are. Maybe that would be why. Well, we'll give it all we got. If we can kill it. We have eyes on, so we can see how effective this is. Yeah, see. There we go. That's going to kill the mortar. Job done. Every time we see a mortar, we'll just do that. We can stop them firing for now. I've just got to keep our eyes out. It's a shame because I do like to zoom in, of course. Watch our pack 40 in the gun pit here. Aiming towards us, did back out at the moment. Well, that's the uh, the fifty millimeter mortar crew. Oh, that's another thing I could do. I could bring in some more this side, some more Panzergrands. Ah, uh, we don't have any machine guns left. That would be nice if I could add some more machine guns there. We have now moved into like B and we're almost in phase C. So I can bring in these big old artillery pieces. Let's do that. Get all of those in. May as well use our artillery. I don't think I've ever used these 220 mil artillery yet, so we'll see how effective they are. Very large caliber, that's for sure. We also have the 100 mil SK-18s, which are really good at counter battery. Oh, they're actually really accurate with a corrected shot. That is scary. Especially considering how powerful they are. They have 11 damage. There's another mortar there. What's their accuracy out, like outside? Uh, it's actually pretty good as well. The dispersion's fantastic on those. I didn't see where that came from. Oh, I can see that one, though. <laughs> Alright, that one should be dead soon. Uh, we can keep eyes on this one. <laughs> 220 mils of firing at it. That's firing at the bunker. It will kill it eventually. It keeps firing, so. You need to shut that down. Nice. That should be dead with the next volley. Now there's a mortar on the left side somewhere. I need to kill that one. I could actually use... Actually, I'll move my commander over. It might remove the extra veterancy there, though. Uh, do I have any more? Oh, I do have one there. Okay, good. We'll bring him in. Get that veterancy going. I haven't seen that mortar fire again.
Oh, there's another one. Now oh, there we go, it's firing on the left side. Are they firing back at the MG? They are. Oh, okay. They're actually in range. So those are all three star veterancy now. That means these infantry squads are going to die very quickly. Ah, there it is. Speed up that order. Pretty sure the uh, one they were shooting at is dead now. <laughs> and look at those craters. There's <laughs> only three minutes left. Almost there. And the MG's almost done. Yeah, this MG's run out of ammunition. Okay. <laughs> That's funny. Is it me or do the smoke trails look kind of weird? Not as smooth as normal. Oh well. Two minutes left. Not sure if we lost the unit again. Been a pretty solid defense, that's for sure. Oh, is that not supplying the right hand one? Oops. Alright, 40 seconds left. I don't see any mortar fire coming in. Don't see any infantry. That's it. Job done. Alright. 29 minutes, 10 seconds. 73 kills, 0 losses. These elite German troops are so easy to defend with. It's ridiculous. There's that. When we get hit by the IS-2s and stuff though, it will start to uh, break us down a bit, that's for sure. So that's another routed unit. Oh, looks like they're going to try and squeeze through there. Alright. Is it our turn? It is. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, so it's finally our turn. Um, what does this stand for? The battalion is being fortified. Okay, right. So it's not fortified yet, but it will be fortified soon. Uh, so that's just grenadiers. We're just backed up by artillery here for the most part. Uh, we're going to move these guys up. Help defend. Uh, that's already probably in range. I can bombard with these guys. Uh, to stop enemies attacking. I think I'm just going to move this one forwards though. That one's already dug in. That one can't dig in. Hmm. What units can we bring? Let's see. So the 25th Panzergren Regiment or Division. We can bring in some troops like right here. That would be good. That would probably be a good idea. Um, we also need to reinforce the top side ASAP, that's for sure. We've got to dig these boys in. And I need to bring down this regiment here to help out. We can dig those in as well, actually. Uh, I don't know whether to do it here or... I think I'm going to do it there. Yeah, we're going to do it here, uh, mainly so I maintain influence on the top side. 
Uh, we can bombard with this. I'm probably going to bombard that unit if I can. Maybe not. I bombard that one? No. Okay. Oh, I can. Okay, good. Um, this one can't bombard because we don't have enough action points. Just need to make sure that we bombard all the ones with, like, three action points. Because they're the ones that could attack us next turn. Uh, this one's probably good to bombard. Probably want to bombard the one with one action point as well. That's why I wanted to bombard this one, because that one can likely attack us. Um, I do want to get some more aircraft. Alright, we can get some more fighters. We can get another recon group. And some night bombers as well. It's just more JU-87s. Alright. So, interesting reinforcements. I think what we'll do is we'll go through the rest of them in the next episode. Because unfortunately, guys, it has been my time. But, so far so good. Really good defensive battles to begin with. We've routed a couple units. Well, three units in the front already. And... I reckon that's set only to continue as they pound into our defences. It's when the IS-2s and the big boys arrive in the centre that's going to become much more difficult. But until then, hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.